What's up guys? Welcome back to Indigo Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the Epic Tune Daffy Hood and give you guys a quick rundown on the characters move sets and strategy. Download the game now in the description box. Let's go. Robin the Rich in giving it to himself, Davy Hood is an epic fighter who is great for dealing damage at range and taking names. He has pretty good stats for a fighter and his moves pack a punch, dealing damage to single enemies and teams. Thanks to his passives and strong attacking power, expect to use him a lot in a lot of your team setups, requiring a good fighter or someone to keep your whole team attacking faster than your opponents. Daffy Hood's first attack skill is his Arrow Strike attack. Arrow Strike is a strong basic attack that deals damage to only a single target. It doesn't offer any other buffs, but mixed in with his passive skill that allows you to steal a stat from an opponent, the move is great for just a strong basic attack when your other moves are on cooldown. Daffy Hood's second skill is his Volley attack. Volley is a special attack that allows Daffy to attack all enemies at once. The attack does small damage compared to his other attacks, but great for weakening multiple enemies at once, and especially great to use when an enemy is very low in health and you don't want to waste a full attack on just attacking that one person. Daffy Hood's third main attack is his Crowd Pleaser. Crowd Pleaser is another one of Daffy's special attacks that allows him to deal massive damage to a single target. This move is great for your first attack and pretty much any time you have it available after the cooldown. The move does a ton of damage to a single target without any negatives to yourself. Daffy Hood also has a passive skill that's unlocked from the start called Pit Pocket that perfectly goes along with his Robin Hood persona. With the pickpocket passive, anytime you land an attack, you steal a random stat or special stat from the target enemy. This is a great passive just for the fact that it's an automatic passive ability that will only have the potential of making your Daffy a stronger attacker on the field. Now for Daffy Hood, his strategy is being an attacker. All of his moves are attacking, so pick your targets and attack with range and power. It's best if you take out enemy healers and then their attackers with your superior attacking power from the beginning, but with the benefit of Daffy's Robin Hood-like pickpocket passive ability, occasionally delving from that to target an enemy that has a good buff like an attack one or a health one so that you can steal it can be a good play too. If you're looking for a healer or defender, Daffy Hood is not your duck. He is purely an attacker for main assaults or support assaults and isn't geared towards healing your teammates like a healer would or defending them. So if you're needing an attacker on your team with strong attack power and passives, the epic tune Daffy Hood is your man. Or should I say duck? Bruh. Well, that's it for the Daffy Hood Quick Beginner Guide. If you have any questions or other character ideas to showcase next for the Beginner Guide, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. I'll be covering more Looney Tunes World of Mayhem characters, so if you like the content, please feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, hit that link in the description box and play the game on your PC using Bluestacks or on your mobile phone. If you want to play this on your PC, Bluestacks is an easy to use software that will allow you to play all of your mobile games on your computer without having to worry about your phone battery running out or that stupid lag. But if you don't have a PC, don't worry, you can still get this game while it's still hot on the presses on your Android and Apple devices. Peace.